Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial. This one's a little bit different to my other videos. I decided to keep it really simple today. We're going to do a watercolor painting using only one color. Today I'm gonna to be using yellow okra. I think that's how you say it. And I'm going to be using a large flat brush and a smallish round brush. So all you'll need is one color and these two brushes. I'm going to start by taping the edges because I wanted to make this a bit of a minimalist painting. So I'm just using painter's tape and I'm going to paint all, I'm going to tape around each edge um, and then we'll begin our background wash. and we only have this really small space in the center. Now it depends on what size paper you're using. Mine is just an A5 so it's obviously a lot smaller. Yours might be larger and that's okay. So we're going to start with our background wash. I'm going to put a little bit of my watercolor paper, my watercolor paint uh, in my palette. I'm going to wet my brush. And just activate the paint. Okay, I'm going to do a wash across the entire space. Okay, once you feel like you've covered the space evenly, leave it to dry and then come back to your painting. Okay, once your paint is all dry, uh, I'm going to go in and really lightly draw an outline of just a leaf pattern. I'm going to do maybe leaves of different sizes going up. really lightly. Um, I might even just go through and just gently brush off excess pencil because I don't want it to come through the paint. We're now going to go ahead with our small round brush. And that will be for the, the leaves. And I want the paint to be a bit darker, so I'm not going to add as much water. I'm going to keep the paint quite thick. So let's see how this works. We'll start with this leaf here. We'll just start with one layer and then go back later. This is a great painting when you're low on supplies. I'm a huge fan of monochrome art. I love paintings that are all the same color. I just think they're so interesting because there's so much you can do with one color and you don't need to worry about color matching and blending. So it's always been my favorite way to paint. Just pick one color and that's all you need. Okay, that's the first layer of paint. I might leave it to dry and then go back and do another layer just to let it um, sit a little bit darker on the page. I might even do a little bit of shading. We'll see how we go. Okay, I think it's all dry now. So we'll go back and we'll do another layer. I was just thinking how this is the perfect artwork for 
people who are a little bit lazy like me and can't be bothered bringing out multiple colors or don't really want to bother with shading and glazing and blending just one paintbrush one color one paper that's all you need to create an artwork so if you are lazy like me please give me a follow i have lots of really easy drawing tutorials that really only require a pen and a paper i have really easy painting tutorials coming very soon for the lazy artists just like me you can still be an artist and not need all these fancy paints and brushes and whatever else. Okay, we're back. The painting has dried. I don't know if you can see this, but I dropped my paintbrush uh, off camera. So yay for me. But you know what, whatever. This is the lazy girl's painting. So now that it's dry, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use my pen. This is a Micron 0.3. And I'm gonna draw some more flowers over my leaves, just because. So we're going to start here and you're, we're just gonna free ball it, you know? Whatever. And do the same kind of style. Maybe I just screwed this painting up. Maybe I didn't. I'm gonna let you decide. All right, let's take this tape off. And if it bled through, whatever, it bled through, I don't care. All right, are we ready? Oh, beautiful. Oh, there goes my paper. Anyways, there you have it. Okay, hold on, let me get us a, a close up. All right, there she is in all her glory. I am sorry if this is shaky, but the lazy girl painting.